Hi everybody, welcome to Debbie's Scrapbooking Room. I wanted to come on today and show you how to make these cute little gift card holders. We made these in the past and I just came across the Creative Memories blog post from November 18th of 2019 and I was looking around and I needed a couple gift card holders. So I thought I would um, come on here today and show you how to make them real quick. This is what they look like. And this is just made out of our cardstock and some designer paper. And I'm going to show you how to create it and then have a couple different takes on the blog post. Okay, so we're going to start with we're going to start with cardstock and I'm using some Christmas colors today. I'm going to use the red and the blue. I made 3 green ones already. So I'm going to go ahead and use and make these right now. I'm going to tell you the dimensions. The dimensions are three and a half inches wide by eight and a half inches long. Okay, so just cut some scrap cardstock, any color that you'd like. Of course, you can make these for birthdays also, but right now I have some gift cards for Christmas that I'd want to make some for. And then we're going to take our 12 inch trimmer and you're going to cut three and a half by eight and a half. Okay, so that's how we're gonna work it. And then you take your scoring blade. We're gonna take the straight blade out of, out of the 12 inch trimmer and we're gonna put in the scoring blade. I'm gonna set these aside and I'm going to come on here and I'm going to show you how to score. You put the first side, the, the first edge is gonna be at two and then score. And then you're gonna put it, move it down to the six inch mark and then score. Okay, and then once you get your scoring done, you can fold them up, and this is how it's going to look. This is what just the plain cardstock is. You can use that, or you can dress it up a little bit. And I'm going to be using this paper. So it's double-sided paper. I could use the, the presents, and then I had some gray polka dots here. So I think I'm going to use this for the blue one, and I'm going to save this one for the red. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how that looks. All right, well, there you go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this on. That's gonna be the decorative paper on top of this one. So I'm gonna start with the blue. And once you have your card all ready to go, I just used the corner rounder and I corner rounded this, the shortest end. So the two inch fold and then I corner round it. So I did that to all my pieces. Okay, I already did that. Those are ready to go. Now we're going to cut the paper that will go inside, which is this and this one and this one. And I'm gonna bring back my 12 inch trimmer. And hold on just a second while I grab that. Okay, I'm gonna move some things aside. Now I'm gonna have to change my blade from the scoring back to the straight so I can cut. And here I'm going to cut, this is three and a half inches wide, or three and a quarter, sorry, I did it again. <laughs> so for the decorative paper, it's three and a quarter inches wide. And then the first cut is one and three fourths. And then we're just gonna cut. That'll be our first piece. And then the second piece is three and a fourth wide, and we're gonna go to two and one fourth. And that'll be our second piece. And then our third piece is three and three fourths. And then you have some scraps, and we, we can use that later, and I'll show you how to use that later. Okay, so these are our pieces. And if your paper is dimensional, you know, one way or another way is directional then you need to figure that out before you put them down on your on your cardstock okay so the first thing we're going to do is punch the I'm going to corner around these edges to match what I have here and then I'm going to go ahead and tape that down you can use any double-sided tape I love our tape runners because they're quick and they're going to stay all right, so I'm just gonna quickly do that. So that's what that one's gonna look like. 
And I like to put this one down first and then cut a little, a little half moon here out of this. And I'm gonna show you how to do that really quick. And this is a, one option that you can use. They didn't suggest that, but I'm going to suggest that. You can use your, cor your custom cutting system and cut little a half moon from here using one of the blades. Or you can use one of the, the circle punches that we have. We have many different circle punches. We have this one from the first Great Memories. And we have this one from years past. Um, this one's really easy. This is ergonomically um, really easy for my hand. So I take the edge that I did not corner around and I'm going to put it right in here. I'm just gonna eyeball it. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just a little half moon. And yeah, it, see it's not perfect, but nobody's gonna know, okay? That's all you do is just cut a little half moon out of there. And then when you put your gift card in here, it's going to be easier for them to get it out, okay? All right, so before we tape down the sides, this is another option that I'm gonna show you. About a quarter, one and a quarter inches from the bottom of this fold right here, I'm just gonna cut about a two inch slit. All right, so I'm going to kind of eyeball it and I'm going to eyeball the center. And we have little markings on each side of the trimmer, but I'm just gonna go ahead and cut a little slit here. I'm just gonna make sure that it's cut all the way through both pieces of paper, and that's all I did. I just slit that right there, if you can see that. A little slit right there, okay? And then we're done with the trimmer for now. All right, I'm gonna get rid of these little scraps, and we can go to the next step. The next step is to take, you can take your decorative paper. I know that one goes with that. This was my leftover paper, and this was the leftover piece from cutting a 12 inch piece of paper down to the eight and a half. So this is what I have left. So you can, you can cut the circle out of the background here, and that's to make this dark piece here. See this green piece? I'm gonna cut that out and make that piece right now. And what I like to do is cut, really close to the edge, like move your paper, move your template to the edge of the paper because if we, if you use, um, if you wanna use a punch and make it the same color, you can fit it in here, you know, with the punch, you can see what you're punching and you have some, you can use all that paper. So I'm gonna take the green blade and I am going to go ahead and cut the circle. Now this is out of the cardstock, and this is the piece that will go over the top like that, okay? So that'll go into the slit, and that'll go over the top like that. Now you can use white cardstock on top, so I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just going to just cut a circle, and I'm gonna use, I think I'm gonna use the blue blade for this one. There we go. And then the, oh, I didn't cut it all the way. That's okay. And then this will go perfectly inside here, inside this circle that I made, okay? And then this will sit on top like this. Okay, I'm going to um, adhere these two together. And I'm trying to center it as best I can. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then I'm gonna tuck this little piece right inside the slit as far as I can push it. Okay. All right, and that's just to get my, it's just to get the base of where I'm gonna tape, where I'm gonna tape this circle on to the top of the card. Okay, so here you go. I just taped it underneath here. I just put some tape down there. And that little slit holds that in place. Okay, now I have enough paper here to do a little decorating. I could, I could make a tree out of this scrap. I could make a tree and I could put the tree there. I can make a poinsettia 
and I can make it out of the red if I'd like. I have some extra red paper. Okay, instead of the blue tree, I can I put a pen poinsettia there. I kind of like that better. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Kind of matches the paper a little bit more. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to put this down with repositionable tape. A little bit on each poinsettia piece. And I'm going to just set it right on here. Okay. Now we're still not done yet because we have to seal the sides. So what I do is I take, you can take regular tape runner. I take the strong grip tape runner. I don't know if anybody has that. Um, this is crafting. Um, Creative Memories had come out with that a few months back and we had some crafting tape and I like to use this for um, for this purpose. It's called Strong Grip. So I just kind of strip it along, um, run that right along the edge there and then that tucks in and then I kind of bend up the cardboard a little bit or cardstock a little bit just to fit my gift card in there. And there, there you go. There's my gift card and then I'm gonna pull this out a little bit and so I can tuck this guy in. And there we go. There's the gift card. Now, you can you can put this little piece of paper, you can tape this on the back if you'd like if, to finish off the decoration like I did here. Or you can, um, or you can just put this to and from you can make a tag. Right now, the tag, the three-in-one bevel tag maker is um, on the clearance uh, on the December deals with Creative Memories for $15. This is a steal. I make tags all the time. So I want to show you how to make a tag. And this is, this is a one inch. This is a one and a half. This is a two. So I'm going to, this is not even a quite a two yet. I don't know if you could see that. But you can push this all the way in and make sure it's centered. You don't have to follow the lines and, and only create these three sizes. You can create any size you want. So this one isn't even, this is probably one and a half, I'm thinking. You can create tags for your gifts. You can, um, you can put a tag on the back here so then they can reuse this gift card holder. Um, and that's that's it. That's that's how that's how you create them. And these are the ones that um, that I've done so far. I'm going to do one more. I'm going to show you once again how to do them. And I am going to use the red this time. So I'm going to start at the beginning. And I already made these. This is three and a half inches wide by eight and a half inches long. Scored at the two and the six mark. Two inch and six inch. If you look at the blog and you'll see the directions, it actually shows you to score and where to score. And then it tells you step-by-step step on how to do it. I just added a couple of my ideas and thoughts on, um, on how to make this a little bit um, different. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start. I'm gonna do this really quick here. So for this one, this is three and a half, or three and a quarter inches wide for the decorative paper. Since this is three and a half, I want it to be a little bit smaller. So this is three and a quarter, and I'm gonna go ahead and just cut, make my cut. Okay. And so now I have my strip. I'm gonna go ahead and cut my pieces. The first cut is at one and three fourths. And that's gonna be for the front like this. So I'm gonna just set them there. And the next one is, is going to be two and a four. And that'll be down there. And the next one will be three and three fourths. And for this one, I'm gonna go ahead and put this paper on the back. I'm just gonna go ahead and, and tape it down. I'll show you it's just a different way to do it. And since this is orient, uh, this paper, you need to have the correct orientation. Make sure that 
um, when you, you can't put them all the same way like this or else when you fold it up, it'll be upside down. So make sure you change your paper, the orientation of your paper before you actually tape it down. And it's no big deal if you, if you mess it up, you can just peel it right back up and um, try again. So this one, I'm gonna go ahead and corner around these bottom two edges. It's not liking me, there we go. Gotta put it in there, okay. And then I'm just gonna tape this one down. All right, so it's coming right along. See how quick that was? It's just a few cuts and you guys, this is it. You don't have to do the circles. You could just leave it just like this, if you'd like. Um, and you can use a little um, pop dot or something there. I'm gonna go ahead and use uh, the circle punch again. I really like to do the circle punch. You can cut a square, a circle. Um, you can do a snowflake, whatever you'd like. And there's that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cut the slit. It's about a one and a fourth inches from the bottom of this fold. And then I just do about a two inch slit. And I make sure I get through all the paper and then I kind of just play with it. Just open that up a little bit. Isn't that cute? I like the gifts, those are really cute. All right, and the next thing we need is a is a circle. So I need a larger circle. So I need the the green blade for the cardstock. Okay, there's that one, and I'm gonna use just plain white again. And I could decorate that piece. Okay. And again, I use the medium size with the blue and the green blade. I'm going to tape these two together. And then I'm going to tuck in this this edge here. I'm just going to tuck it in and hold it there. I'm going to place some tape here so then when I close it I can tape it down. Okay so there's your edge and there's your little flap. Now I'm ready to tape down these two sides and I'm going to use my really uh, thick grip, really strong grip tape and I'm going to tape down the sides. Now again you can use the precision point, the glue pens, you can use any paper crafting any paper crafting um, tape or glue will f be fine because we're not putting photos on here so I think we're going to be okay. Now I could use I could use um, the Christmas tree here to close. I could use stickers but I think I'm gonna see if I could use this, this little sled. This little sled is from 2020. And look at how cute, it looks so fun. If I had some present stickers, I can stick them right in there too. I'm just gonna tape this down. And I'm using repositionable tape runner and uh, it's not going to stick to anything but what you're putting down here. You can go straight across. You could just do, I like it, little, a little crooked. And that is it. This is, this is the, the, ta uh, the gift card holder. Isn't that so cute? Of course, you're, you have many, many options. Whatever paper you have in stock will do just fine. Okay, I think that's all I wanted to show you today. If you have any questions, you can comment and I'll check back later and um, I'll answer any questions you guys have. Well, thank you so much for watching and have a great day.